I've managed this team for nearly four years. We're very lucky that we've got some staff that have been here for a long period of time that are very passionate about oncology and it's um, everybody is very passionate about how we can make it more efficient so that the patient experience is, is the best it possibly can be. The work we did on the oncology day case chemotherapy unit started just by looking at what happened to a patient when they came for treatment and we found that there were two uh, times in their treatment that they waited a long time for anything to happen. Uh, one was when blood samples were taken and sent to the laboratory for testing and the other was when the drug was ready for them to be uh, uh, to be treated. So we looked at how could we work collaboratively with our colleagues in pathology and pharmacy to try and keep that weight to a minimum. So here in Leeds we've got people from Bantu all the way up to our Chief Executive and Executive Medical Director now doing the Lean for Leaders course. I think that does uh, two things. It gives people at the top an understanding of what uh, people are going through in terms of training but it also gives people that sense that this is really important to the organisation and the people running the organisation are committed to it. As part of my project I did an affinity diagram with the staff of how they could think we could increase the flow on the unit and some of the things they came up with were not things that we, we would have highlighted. So it's just going with those ideas and letting them um, own those changes that we make. So one of the very first things we did was uh, what's called the waste walk. We just looked around the unit to see areas that uh, there were areas of, of waste and um, inefficiency. Uh, we also then uh, did what's called the 5S. So we standardised the way that we looked at stocking the trolleys, even things like the blue clinical trays that we use for blood taking. We made sure that they were all in the same place, we knew where they were. When the nurses were finished with them, they were being put back there. The OBS machine was where it was supposed to be. And all these things mean that when the patient comes in, that we can focus on that patient. We don't have to then say, we'll be back in two minutes, we'll be back in two minutes. We were, we were there and we were ready to give them the care. One of the other key things um, as part of my Lean for Leaders project was to implement the scheduler, which we then needed to have safety huddles. It was a very different way of working on the unit and it was very new to the staff and one thing we were very keen right throughout it was that we maintain safety for the patients and for the staff. The huddle's been really um, effective and efficient because it means that at twice daily the team get together, we discuss any issues that um, are going to arise, the patients um, that are you know, predicted to maybe have some delays, we can get on top of that so that we can minimise those as much as we can. Um, we can make sure that the team, if, if one team's busier and needs help, that helps provided so again the patient isn't waiting as long. We can chase things up and we can make sure that that patient and the throughput is, is as effective as it can be. Because we are using the chair capacity to its absolute maximum, we are now seeing on average an extra patient per day because the flow of patients is maintained throughout the day. The thing I'm most proud of is their sense of ownership of the work they've done. So although it was strictly my project and I was supposed to be leading on it, I think actually quite quickly they became the owners of the project and seeing them really get involved in it and keep it going long after I've kind of not been doing that work has been really, uh, really empowering for me actually and a real source of pride. It's not just a project that we've started and we're not going to keep going and the continuous improvement we've done and continually ask them to be involved in it has given them the confidence that we are still doing it and that it's going to continue throughout the future it is um, the way we are running the unit, not just one single project. Mm -hmm.